hello everyone in this video we will learn how to create an rds proxy and how to connect to an rds db instance from an ec2 instance through the rds proxy so the prerequisites for this video are you must have an ec2 instance launched and an rds db instance launched and you must be able to connect to your rds db instance from the ec2 instance and both of those must be in the same vpc so if you would like to know how to do all of this then link for that video is in the description section below you can go ahead and watch it and you can then proceed with this video so having that said i have an ec2 instance launched i also have an rds db instance launched that is demo db so the point to be noted is rds proxy supports only two types of engines one is the MySQL and the other one is the Postgres SQL. So I have, I'm using the MySQL engine for this RDS database. And moreover, uh, RDS proxy supports MySQL version 5.6 or 5.7. So I'm using MySQL version 5.7.31 for my RDS DB instance. So yeah, so Amazon RDS proxy is a fully managed highly available database proxy that makes applications more scalable, more resilient to database failures and more secure. So now let's create an RDS proxy. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to store the database credentials in something called a secret manager. So let's access the secret manager service. So here we will store a new secret and the secret type is credentials was credentials for rds database so here you need to enter the master username and the master password that you have entered while launching the rds db instance and here we will select the rds database that the secret will access and i'll click on next and here i'll be naming my secret and i'll call it second secret and same goes for the description as well and I'll scroll down and I'll click on next. I'll click on next again and I'll click on store. So now our secret has been successfully created and I'll be copying the secret ARN of this secret for future reference. And I'll be pasting it in my notepad. So the second thing that we need to do is we need to create a role and a policy so what this role is going to do is it will allow the rds proxy to fetch the database credentials from secret manager so let's go to the im service and let's first create a role so i'll click on create role and the role allows AWS services to perform actions on your behalf. So I'll choose a use case and that is the RDS and I'll select the second use case that is add role to a database that allows you to grant RDS access to additional resources on your behalf. So I'll choose that and I'll click on next and then I'll create a policy. So I'll choose JSON and I'll replace this policy with one that I have. So here I need to enter the secret ARN and that is nothing but this one and I have done that and I'll click on review policy and I'll name this policy as second policy. And this is going to give full access to the secrets manager and I'll click on create policy. So now I'll go back to the roles and I'll click on refresh. So now we have second policy. I'll check that and I'll click on next. I'll click on preview. This is second role. And now we have successfully created a role that's going to allow the RDS proxy to have full access to the secret manager so that it can fetch the database credentials from the secret manager.
and moreover this uh, policy is in the description section below you can copy paste it from there so all of this setup is done and now it's time to create the rds proxy so we'll go to the rds console and i'll click on proxies i'll click on create proxy i'll name my proxy as rds proxy and uh, i'll scroll a bit down and the rds proxy will be associated to a database called demo db and i'll scroll a bit further and the secret manager is the second secret from which our rds proxy will fetch the database credentials and the role is second role that we have just created and scrolling a bit more down and here we need to attach a security group to our rds proxy and I'll be creating a new security group and I'll name it RDS proxy SG and I'll click on create proxy. So while our RDS proxy becomes available, let's set up the security group. So I'll go to the EC2 dashboard and I'll go to the security groups section. So here we have EC2 security group that is associated to our EC2 instance and RDS security group that is associated to our RDS MySQL database and we have RDS proxy SG that is associated to our RDS proxy. So the first change that we need to do is in RDS SG. So let's edit its inbound rules such that it also allows traffic from our RDS proxy so so the source would be rds proxy sg so now i'll click on save rules so now our rds security group will be able to allow traffic from ec2 security group as well as from rds proxy security group and the second change that we need to do is that is in the rds proxy security group so we will have to add inbound rules so it must allow traffic from our ec2 instance so we will set this source as ec2 sc that is associated to the ec2 instance and i'll click on save rules so now our rds proxy will be able to allow traffic from our ec2 instance so now let's have an overview of security groups so first we will check with the EC2 security group. So it's inbound rules as SSH traffic and the SSH traffic is allowed from all IPv4 addresses. So let's have a look at RDS proxy security group and it's inbound rules and it allows traffic from EC2 security group. So it allows traffic from ec2 instance now let's have a look at rds security group so it allows traffic from ec2 instance as well as rds proxy so now let's check the rds proxy so the rds proxy is available so now we can connect to our rds mysql database from the ec2 instance through rds proxy so let's see how to do that so I'll go to the EC2 dashboard and I'll connect to the EC2 instance. So I already have MySQL client installed in this EC2 instance. So I'll be connecting to the RDS proxy. So for that purpose, I'll be copying the RDS proxy's endpoint and I'll be pasting it over here. And uh, the port is 3306. And the username is admin and i'll click enter and so now we are able to connect to the rds proxy from our ec2 instance and i'll type show databases just to see what all databases are available so yeah so what has happened over here is we are able to successfully connect to our 
RDS MySQL database from our EC2 instance through the RDS proxy. So now let's monitor our RDS proxy connection. So for that we will go for the CloudWatch service. So here I'll choose metrics and I'd like to view the RDS metrics that to per proxy metrics and I'll enter the name of my proxy that is RDS proxy and I'd like to view the client connections as well as the database connections and I'd like to view the metrics in the number format. So here if you see we have one client connection and one database connection. So one client connection stands for the connection between the EC2 instance and the RDS proxy and one database connection stands for the connection between the RDS proxy and the RD RDS MySQL database. So in this tutorial we have successfully connected to the RDS MySQL database from the EC2 instance through the RDS proxy. So that's it for this video and thanks a lot for watching it. Please like, share and subscribe and see you in the next video.